Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Saints Gaming stream. I'm your host, as always, Matthias, also known as Matthias, and I'm joined by Dan Banner himself. And today we have E A E C A C E A F C 25 on display today. And I just want to know how impressed were you that I got that right? Considering it was the first <laughs> try with next to no stumbling, not bad at all, because that is definitely a mouthful. But um, it should be, of course, an exciting one we've had. Uh, EAFC on stream once a little bit earlier in the season, and I am looking forward to seeing it again here, especially due to our matchup here tonight. It is going to be our Saints player is going to be intense, messy, currently 3 0 and 1, the one just being a tie, currently in this league, sitting in the top 10 of the ECAC EA. FC. <laughs> and their opponent, though, is no slouch in their own right, currently wow. sitting ranked 25. Yeah, ranked 25. I believe they are 3 and 1. Van Wood from exactly. George Washington University. Looking very competitive as well. Ranked 25 is nothing to sneeze at, especially with hmm. how we've learned relatively recently how this game kind of works. There's no more shootouts, there's no more yeah. tiebreakers. So you really have to win those games that you win. <laughs> that's why that's why I was really surprised when I looked at the website earlier to see all the rankings and saw that Intense Messi had a tie. Because it's like, wait a second. Um, from what I was told earlier, there is no shootout. There is no overtime. And if there... If a game ends in a tie, you just play it over again. So how did a game end in a tie? That is, your guess is as good as mine. But either way, we'll be hopping into the game very, very shortly here. We see our player, Intense Messi, is going to be in the orange Real Madrid. It seems to be a rather common <laughs> team pick to cross pretty much all of ECAC for the most part. Of the two games we've seen, there's always been Real Madrid. Yes, in any game, especially any real sports game, <laughs> as realistic as you want to make it, it always boils down to a meta one way or another. A gamers will figure it out and they'll stick to it. So overall, it looks like Intense Messi has control of the ball to start here. He's going on the side, making a couple good passes, making his way downfield. Pass it all the way up to Mbappe. Can put, find something though, because the defense from Benwood is looking very good. Yeah, the one thing to note, like with this one, you see, yeah, sure, you got a lot of players go through, and he actually gets hit past two of them, and immediately going to be starting things off with a goal, picking off that top right corner while threading the needle between two defense. Yeah, it was a beautiful shot already from intense Messi, and that's how you want to start things off on a good note. I mean. Immediately setting a you message. Are, you are technically slightly above in terms of winning. You want to keep your win away high, but I have a feeling Vanwood's going to come back with a vengeance, and already the aggression is palpable. Of course, Vanwood no slouch in their own right, but you know that's got to sting a little bit when you basically get scored on right off the rip, right off the face off, and it's just such a <laughs> more a morale like destroyer of sorts here. And especially with these two players here. Yeah, we got a lot of players on the field, but it is extremely easy to accidentally bunch them all up. As we do see Intense Messi trying to get on through, but it is going to be stopped by the defender. Stop the defender, but it looks like Intense Messi making a blitz once again towards this goal, trying to fake him out, do a big pass up there, right in front of the goal. The goalie gets it out, but it goes back to Intense oh. Messi. There's a bit of a scuffle going on, but it goes back to Van Wood. Has control of the ball and making their way upfield. And that was definitely close there for Intense Messi to be able to maybe go up by two here, but just went on too sharp of an angle towards the net. The goaltender was in position. Vanwood now bringing it up outside of the crease. A big hit there. That is going to be ball contact first, though, so no call on the play. Going to try and take this one up the left side, but to be honest, nobody really from Vanwood's side is really challenging, giving Intense Messi lots of time to try and set this one up. Yeah, big shot, but it goes unkept, <laughs> caught, and it's going to back, go back over to Vanwood. It's going to make the approach back over, keep up the offense. A bit oh, geez. of a pop shot there, but it might be an own goal. Oh! It's saved out by Intense Messi. Okay, that was absolutely dangerous, but I mean, no harm, no foul. It is out of the goal, and we don't have to worry about it, at least this time as we go halfway up the field here. I was very, very surprised to see from Van Wood there opting to go to the forward that was right in between two forwards of the Saints. Meanwhile, right back the other way, trying to get some offense in, but one pass too many. Van Wood is going to gobble it up nice and quick, take it up the right-hand side here, try to build some offense for themselves. Try not to go out of bounds. Oh, oh that would have been a nice breakout, but had to watch out about the offense 
offsides because they were a little bit too far ahead. It did end up getting called, so we're going to have to reset for a free kick. We're going to reset for a free kick here and make your way downhill, downfield once again. So going to pass it over to Val. Val Valverde there going to try and make their way up this field. An intense Messi just very good at keeping the offensive pressure up. I mean, it's so impressed to see how he maneuvers around oh. the defense here, oh. but he can't quite break through as Van Wood doing a very good job at staying in the game. Oh, nearly found a way to get around the defender there. Lots of passes definitely making Van Wood feel extremely uncomfortable. I'm just nervous just watching. Not, not even the player in this instance here, but just constant accurate passes. Two on one opportunity, but got watch out for the outsides. Forces the shot off. Goaltender is not going to be denied or not going to be uh, defeated this time by good diving save to send this one back upfield. Field. But once again, intense Messi just always there with this ball. Always has someone watching any of Van Wood's potential blitzers there. Gonna wide open. Back open. It's wide open. Val Valverde going to try and go for something. Going to pass it back. And Offside. Forth. Nope. There it is. And it gets the goal. Intense Messi finds it out of nowhere. A little bit of an ankle breaker there. An ankle breaker. And I'm actually very, very surprised. I thought that Intense Messi may have moved a little bit too far forward to actually let that pass count without being offside. But that's uh, exactly why they're the player in pushing the boundaries as far as they possibly can. And after a fantastic strong start like that, like Intense Messi is exactly where they want to be. Exactly is right. Now a bit of a scuffle there. Intense Messi somehow winning it out once again, keeping control. And just so many passes coming through, and they're successful every single time. Mm. It's nothing risky here coming out of Intense Messi. Like, that was probably the riskiest thing, but it was more so to try and grant the offensive opportunity. And yet they still managed to also get a call on it as well to get control pretty much right away. The initial free kick did not necessarily go where they had wanted, though. Going to be stopped by the midfield for just a moment's time. Finally going to get picked off for just a second. But it feels like Van Wood has just not been able to have much control in this game in the slightest. But as I said that, they're going upfield. Going up field, making an offense. Van Wood needs this now more than ever. Good offense, oh. but it gets saved out once again by Intense Messi. And now they have a wide open field to cross. A big pass. They need to get past the defense, though. It's the last thing standing in their way. A few more clean passes, and big now pass. it's wide open. Just gets to get past the goalie, and that's going to be a goal from Intense Messi. Fantastic counterattack coming out here from Intense Messi and was able to, again, just thread the needle that time between three defenders and just putting the cherry on top <laughs> here at this game, getting the celebration in there as well. You got to love it, Intense Messi. Just on top of the world right now here in game one. Top of the world indeed, 3-0. and oh, Already so early into the game, doing an absolutely amazing start for Intense Messi. And now finally Van Wood able to get some passes underway. A little offensive opportunity. Shot possible. It is going to be the counterattack. Finally going in here for Van Wood. Immediately wanted to keep that momentum up, sending it right back to the center field afterwards. But that was finally the opportunity where a pass was exactly where it needed to be, wide open, and it was capitalized on. 3-1. And that's what you need if you're Van Wood. You know, there's still so many opportunities here to even the odds. Again. If you can even it out, this game is as good as a wash, even as well as Intense Messi played in the early game. They need to keep the pressure up. Intense Messi doing a good job at not losing any momentum here, making an upfield, going for these crazy passes. Can't Ooh. quite complete that one, though. Yeah, very close. That player was definitely running as fast as they could down the left-hand side, but had to slow down to not get called for offside. So it was going to get picked up there by Van Witt, who is, again, downfield, but a good little pickoff right in right outside of the Saints crease here. Going to allow for Intense Messi to get control once again. Player on the left-hand side is going to receive the pass, trying to kind of drag race this guy down the left-hand side. Waits, looks for the pass, not going to end up getting it this time. Still with control, right in the middle as well. Good defense, though, coming out of Fanwood so far. One more opportunity. Messi going to end up bringing this one back, as I believe we were heading to halftime. I believe so. Yeah, there it is. Resume match. It's not quite over just yet. But absolutely very good start from Intense to Messi. I mean, Van Wood did get a goal in there somewhere. Absolutely, But yeah. you can definitely tell the control of the game was in Messi's favor. At least that first, I guess, three quarters of that first half, it felt like Van Wood couldn't do anything, to be completely yeah. frank with you. <laughs> Just, like, had next to no, like, 
control with the ball in the slightest. That last quarter, however, though, it seemed like Van Wood was starting to come online a little bit more. These passes didn't seem so frantic, not as like not anywhere near as much panic, and able to find these passes that were actually giving shot opportunities. Capitalized on one, and I mean, if you keep playing like that, you could absolutely get yourself back in the game here. Yeah, get yourself back in the game is the name of the game here. And it looks like Intense Messi after playing a little bit more patient on the defense, finally back on the offense, making their way up field, passing it back and forth, you know. I mean, you ben don't got to score. Start, <laughs> starting to, exactly, Van Wood starting to adapt up to it. Intense Messi knows they got their lead, and now they can play a little bit slower, a little bit more patiently, and try and wear Van Wood out. And this is such an irritating play style to try and go through, especially if they manage to find a breakout opportunity. You feel like a defender would have wanted a mulligan on that one because that just went through two of them. Yeah, that was absolutely brutal for Fanwood, but it's just intense Messi's intense play style. You know, you've got to keep your opponent on edge at every single moment of time. Yeah, a little bit of a timeout here, it looks like, in the meantime. But what a start here, once again, here of our intense Messi in this um, second half. And it almost, like, didn't even feel that threatening, that last goal. It just seemed like, okay, controlling it once again. I'll expect it to probably pass back to the midfield or kill some more time. Wait, what do you mean he took it and ran? <laughs> like, okay, split the defenders, why don't you? And just finding these little openings that you're just not necessarily thinking about. And it's really making Van Wood have to go for the timeout pretty well immediately here, whether it be for a tech issue or whether it be for um, recuperation. Fair enough. I think it's probably recuperation if I had to guess. I mean, maybe it was a tech issue actually it ended a little bit early. But nevertheless, you need that time to try and stop the momentum from intense mess. You want to try and regain some composure here. You're going to start to lose it if Intense Messi keeps playing this game that he is. Absolutely. The more that Intense Messi is in control, the more I feel like you're mental just slowly kind of drains a little bit because it's not like full like super aggro it, lots of control involves it's just picking your spot wisely as we're gonna see another opportunity and sure enough they tried the breach right through there was collision in the middle and that was actually oh, in wow. the penalty kick zone as if he needs anything more to go his way but here is the opportunity the kick and it is actually oh, gonna go barely wow. under him he guessed it right but was too slow Beautiful shot by Intense Messi. Vanwood gonna try on the defense, but that's gotta feel not so great if you're Vanwood. I mean, you're already down and out, but a penalty shot from seemingly out of nowhere. Oh, it's got to be bad. It was at the very, very tip of the crease, too. So, like, the at the furthest distance that a penalty shot could have been called was basically what happened there. And just everything going in the way of intense Messi Vanwood, right though. here right now. Making a comeback here, trying to get control back in their hands. But once again, Des Messi just so good at stealing the ball right back. Absolutely. The only offensive opportunities it feels like Vanwood has been able to get on intense Messi's defense is always being covered by at least one player. So, like, I'm not to use a Rocket League term, but it only almost feels kind of like a 50-50 if you're <laughs> going up against somebody like that, where does it go through them, or do you just get stopped and get sent back the other way? As we see, that actually kind of just happened right here uh, for Vanwood in their favor. So they're going to go up the right-hand side, look for the pass, but again, just these stretch passes are always going to somebody who has somebody just <laughs> right on top of them. Exactly. Intense Messi always has somebody on somebody. How? But wow, <laughs> beautiful <laughs> shot oh. from downtown. But Van Wood luckily had the defense ready. And right off the quarter kick, at least there for Van Wood was in a bit of a dangerous position there for a moment, but it was able to at least get cleared outside of the crease. But it's right back into Intense Messi's control. Again, just hovering around looking for the pass and then as soon as you think it's just strictly go for passing looking for the dive bomb play for themselves but it's not gonna go their way actually a big pass here for Vanwood going all the way upfield but their defenders on the Saints side are much faster gonna have to get stuck maybe try to make a pass but one move too many and Vanwood just getting denied right outside wow. the crease once again and we're going right back the other way the breakaway but that one was maybe a little bit too good of a breakaway that's an offside <laughs> a little bit too good for that one but still Vanwood gotta be a little bit nervous they had a beautiful break when it quickly almost turned into a nightmare for them and now 
Anyway, sorry, I was just reading that message up at the top, but it looks like Mbappe has control of the ball, making their way up field. Messi trying to get an additional point on their opponent because you really need to solidify a lead here. There's no tiebreakers here, but now it gets caught up by the goalie. Going to be sent right back into Van Wijk's hands. Yeah, we might see another timeout in a moment if I'm guessing that's what's in regards to that. Uh, pause notification up at the top here, but we'll have to see. But as of right now, Intense Messi once again with control for at least the moment. It is barely not going to go out of bounds here. Van Wey going to try and go the other way. He does have some help, but ops go between the two Saints defenders, and that is not going to end up working out very well for you. Right back the other way now, just from um, Saints player to Saints player over and over. Can they get the one on one juke? They actually go right in between two of them. Looks for the pass, but a good defensive maneuver here for Van Wood two times in a row to stop that dead. Twice in a row, that's all you need. And now Intense Messi keeping up the offense. I mean, oh no. Van Wood's defense is looking good, but can it stay good for so long after so many shots from Intense Messi? It's and it does. Now it's going right back up the field. Van Wood. Haven't gotten a goal in a while. You need one very quickly. Yeah, just for the sake of momentum, especially since there's only like 10 minutes of in-game time left to go. And I think we are going to see that timeout come out here once again here for uh, for Vanwood. But yeah, this one's starting to kind of feel like the point of no return where it starts to snowball a little bit. If we were playing Rocket League, we'd be saying just get the one for the sake of momentum and kind of getting to that point. Because 10 minutes in-game is like two minutes for us. So, I mean, that goes by extremely quickly. Granted, Vanwood again gets into the crease and just makes one move too many. The defense from Intense Messi is just too strong right now. Too strong, but you know his offense is just as strong. He just needs to make it past Vanwood's defense. I got to applaud Vanwood, though. They've cleaned up their defense. Intense Messi hasn't gotten a goal in quite some time. So if mm -hmm. he managed to do so, it's a testament to the added adaptability Sent right back down. Van oh, hang on. Going to keep making this blitz. Going to keep the team oh. alive. But every single time, Messi has somebody on all their forwards. Like I would say, like maybe just the players on one uh, one side are just a little bit faster because it seems like the Saints are always faster on those defensive things. But they're both using the same team, <laughs> so I can't even make that argument. I don't know if it's just like saving your sprint or what, but it just seems like even with the Saints player uh, Messi here getting so much extra mileage on their players, just like saving their boost, saving their stamina or what. But Fanwood again just finding two. Playing relatively dangerous opportunities, but just can't find the person for the finishing blow. Little interception in front. That's going to be shot way outside the crease, but it did force Messi's goaltender to make the save and reset this down for a goalie kick because that was definitely a close opportunity. It was very close indeed. I mean, you got to stay vigilant for all of those crazy shots, but you got to stay vigilant for Intense Messi as well as they're making their way down this field. But there's really no support from the teammates there. Vanwood going to take control. And that should do it there. Game number one in the books. Just a fantastic 5 1 win here for Intense Messi here for Saints. And it will be. Just the briefest of breaks, but I think we still got ourselves a little bit to talk about here. Just uh, again, just with the fantastic job done by our Saints player, done by Intense Messi, where the damage was definitely done early. Van would like props to them, like you said, the defense defensive side of things really did start to come along and build up much stronger towards like the midsection, maybe the three quarter mark of that game. But and it was just. Damage was done too early, and then offensively, you could kind of sense a little bit of panic when the Definitely. opportunities came. And uh, hopefully, going into game number two here for Van Wood could come back swinging because, yeah, you, you got the one part done. Just unfortunately, you can't win by defense alone. Yeah, that's something coming from other esports titles is so difficult with, with these sports <laughs> games, right? There's no change of map. There's no change of characters. Yeah. There's no change of weapon. You just have to try and steal yourself, steal your resolve, and keep on going, especially when you're not really going to change your team in something like this, where there's a mm. very defined strongest team. Yeah, absolutely. If anything, uh, based off of what we're seeing, they're both playing that strongest team. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, that part's already done. Everybody's got the exact same playing field. And again, like, there's no... Uh, no pickups or items or something that you can equip to, like, change or your... Uh, stages or fields. No different stages. <laughs> so, yeah, the closest thing, of course, we would have to compare, like, I guess it's kind of a mixture of two things when it comes to these, like, sports titles. Because you have the, like, 
I guess the sports aspect, but it's all a one versus one, which kind of feels like FGC like. Yeah, that's what I was going to bring up. <laughs> like you don't you don't have anyone to blame. No. <laughs> you, like you can't point out. You blame your team in the game. You blame that your team you're controlling. Or no, if I do this the Smash way, I say my character is uh, yeah. underpowered and that it needs a buff. Yeah. But but everyone here like, is playing Steve or Fox from Melee, right? <laughs> something along those lines. Or yeah, exactly. But yeah, especially with both uh, players playing the exact same characters, exact same team. There's nothing you can do but just go back to your own whiteboard. Just go back to your own drawing board of sorts and figure out exactly like where you have to adapt to get into the next one to break on through. And honestly, from watching that game, so we're about to hop into game number two. But it's literally just all the offensive side for Vanwood, maybe getting a little bit too excited when they so, get in there. And that that's a lesson we can take from FGC as well. Oh, absolutely. So we're, we're both FGC guys. Look at us yapping our way. <laughs> anyways, there's the whole concept of neutral. You know, when your opponent's making a play against you, you don't want to get too eager to jump in when they're on the defensive. Oh, absolutely. You over like overstay your offense and it's like, wait, it's my turn now. Yep. Counter attack and <laughs> oh, this was Tekken and I'm just dead. But <laughs> I just lost my whole health bar. And, but <laughs> and Messi plays that very well, very patient, waiting for the right mm -hmm. opportunity to strike, waiting out their opponents want to try and just steal the ball away from them and get them in the back of their hands. So you gotta see a little bit more patience from Ben, what I think. Yeah, patience and just being able to capitalize a little bit harder on that punish game of sorts because as of right now it just kind of runs into a Saints defense as we're seeing a very very long <laughs> shot here I was not expecting that in the slightest there from Intense Messi but it forces the goaltender to make the move corner kick immediately mosh pit in the uh, in the crease but it is going to be defended here by Van Wood good job to get out of that one because that was Messi I was that was no it's about intended. to get very intense here <laughs> as we're gonna run downfield Van Wood making a blitz oh! the goal gets saved oh! gets saved out that was a crazy angle there I thought that almost went in I thought he got a piece of it but it would have just trickled in but nope not this time corner kick now for Van Wood opts for the high side headbutt but not quite gonna get past the goaltender of intense Messi right on target a little bit of an awkward pass there right next to a Van Wood player, but it is going to eventually be controlled here. Of course, all reset here for game number two. And the passes, here we go. This is exactly the uh, the flow that we're used to seeing here from Intense Messi. Not necessarily passing too quick, but actually maybe one pass too many, right? As I'm about to give them praise for it as it does get intercepted. It's intercepted and now oh, here we go. Mbappe making a move upfield, doing some fancy footwork. Can he make it past the defensive line? Gonna be passed back and forth. Now is intense Messi's game of trying to wait this one out, wait for the right opportunity to strike. Finds the opening and gets oh. it in! Just like that. Basically a one-timer right at the goalie's doorstep. I don't care how good of a goalie you are, that is just a nightmare scenario. And what a fantastic job here for Intense Messi to get one on the board nice and quick, right as the timeout comes out once again. And yeah, the Goal at, goalie at that point, you just have to dive and hope you get a piece of it because look how tall you are compared to how big that net is. Yep. <laughs> yeah, a lot of ground to cover there. A lot of, if we're going to look at the game, there are a lot of hitbox for a very yeah, seriously. small projectile. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It feels like you got the whole world to shoot at at some point here. But again, fantastic job here for Intense Mitzi to start. But Van Wood right back the other way. But again, gets into an offensive opportunity. And the pass goes right to Messi. Goes right to Messi. Passing back and forth. The passing game for Messi is absolutely phenomenal here. Headbutt back to the team. And another headbutt back and forth. A lot of heads are getting bopped here. But Van Wood is going to take control once again. But these passes are just being oh. intercepted. Wow, that's a big fall right there. But I think, was that clean? I think that was good. He touched the ball first. Yep. Now it's going to be back up on the offense for Van Wood. Now with one player out from that stun, it's going to be very tough for Messi to get it back. But he does. And this is just absolutely phenomenal. Even with one point up, the aggression from Messi is unrelenting. Absolutely. So with full control, has pretty much all the time in the world because it seems like Van Wood's not really using the player to go offensive, more so trying to block. But yeah, Messi's still able to get around, but a big save actually here 
from Vanwood, able to keep this game within one. Corner kick right off the headbutt. Big save again. Oh, my goodness. Vanwood's <laughs> goaltender is putting in work here to keep them within one. Corner kick again. Oh but finally, the headbutt. the headbutt once again. But this one is going to go wide. That was an uh, unrelenting shot after a shot from Messi. I mean, Vanwood, you have to be running out of gas here. If you can't clear this ball soon enough, you want to try and have your offensive turn here soon. No, absolutely. You can only take that so long before you start making mistakes. And wow, just a straight-up robbery in the midfield. Sends this one right back the other way. But okay, there we go. Vanwood was right there to immediately challenge a player that received the pass. Did not give Intense Messi any time to think about where they wanted to put that ball. And was able to bring this one back across field for themselves. Trying to split two. Does manage to get a run in here. A little bit of a sharp angle, though. Looks for a player to pass to. But now they're stuck again. And the only shot they could muster is not even close. Not even close, and that's going to give Messi back control of the ball. Really good positioning here. Make another amazing play. And if you're Vanwood, you got to try and shore up that defense as much as possible. Or maybe play a little bit more defensively. You know Messi loves to go for these passes, so even if it seems like this person might be open, might not be an option, I want to put somebody there. I mean, and then I would definitely argue you start playing defensively and then Messi's just going to dance in the midfield, <laughs> as we're kind of seeing right here with just pass after pass, just killing that clock. And then, I mean, granted, we've still got a lot of time here before halftime, but got to find something offensively sometime soon to tie this one up. Going to try and go through the midfield, but nice little slide that did hit the player first, and they're going to get called for it. It's going to be a call now. This could make this game very, very interesting. Hey, yo, okay. Going to just eject them right out of wow. the game. That's going to, that might be a game changer right there. I mean, we'll have to see if, unfortunately, oh, geez, yeah, just straight up takes the person <laughs> out by the right ankle. Getting a little bit of sympathy pain just looking at that one, but yeah, going to be forced to uh, management. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, thankfully, of course, um, having depth on your roster, like, oh, let's see, imagine if a soccer team only carried as many players as necessary for the field. <laughs> hmm, Esports, maybe take a look at that concept for a little bit. But when are uh, we going to get red cards for uh, teabag? <laughs> oh, no. Never mind the league. I'm going to do that myself. But. <laughs> 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 yeah, that'd be absolutely ridiculous. But <laughs> anyways, back in the game here, Vanwood going to have control of the ball after that red card. Going to try and set up some sort of offense, but Messi stealing the thunder for themselves once again, taking it back to the midfield. Go for a bit of a pop shot. Can't quite get control, though. Yeah, just a bit off a little bit more than they can chew in that instance there. And Vanwood not going to let that one get by them that easily had a little bit of control off the start here still did a little bit of an awkward bounce in the midfield but it's going to allow bandwidth to go up the right hand side for just the moment but it was again just stolen these one-on-one -on -one steals here from intense messi are getting annoying to me let alone bandwood it is definitely frustrating to watch if you put imagine yourself in the seat of Vanwood. You just can't find anything. You can't find a very clear opening. When you do get an offensive push, Messi just clears up that defense and just plays so tr trickily, like uh, mischievously. Mm. <laughs> like, you know when you spend enough time in the FGC lab training a combo, but every single time you try to put it on a player, they just block it every <laughs> single time and then wreck you? That's kind of what I feel like is just happening here because we can see Vanwood has the specific play. We're going to maybe see it happen here again. A little bit of a breakout opportunity, but a good headbutt actually towards your own goalie to make sure that breakaway doesn't go a foul. But uh, like the fake out toss there was kind that was of interesting. Wild. Playing the mind game aspect into a full effect on the side of Messi. And of course, Tense Messi right back the other way, looks to try and split two, shot on target, is in fact going to tuck it in on the right-hand side. Once again, what looks like should have been blocked by defenders, and Tense Messi able to, able to find the slot necessary to get that ball through. Fantastic jobs, we see the replay right here. Just able to get past the one, and unfortunately, number three there just could not get there in time. And again, as a goalie, you have to either try and make that move so early that you could just get faked out, or it's going too far. Yeah, absolutely amazing start for Messi so far. I mean, two goals in such a low scoring game so far is absolutely brutal for Van. All right, back the other way though, but that's offside. I was gonna say that was probably their best opportunity. And I believe that's also halftime as well. So 
literally just ran out of time there, but I will say Vanwood here, George Washington University doing a much better job compared to game number one, but I still feel that same sense of urgency and frustration at the same time where there's like the, the pressure's on Vanwood right here and they're trying the same thing over and over again. They're trying that same combo. They're trying that same play. And while Intense Messi has been able to kind of get away with it here and there, like I'd argue that last goal, like he definitely got away with it with the two defenders literally right next to them. But Vanwood's just not necessarily had the same luck or the same shots that just get the job done. Yeah, it's, it's very um, amazing to see the skill showcased by Messi so far. Just so much trickery at play, so much footwork and intense positioning as well. Yeah, all about positioning here. That Speaking of which, okay, I was going to say, how did that not go uh, out of bounds is surprising to me. First throw in we're going to see here of the series. Doesn't matter, try and get everybody into position right away. And sure enough, Tess Messi is going to be able to get control, get it back to their midfielders to try and set this one up. And manages to break through, through the crease, but that's a big dribble and just enough space for Vanwood to be able to get their goaltender on top of that. Big headbutt though, goes back to the midfield, but a beautiful pass from Vanwood is going to set them back up for success. Blitz down the field, but Messi once again being a big disruption, but there's a big pass and a big shot from Mbappe. Can make oh. save it, but it gets caught out by the goalie. That was probably Vanwood's best opportunity of the entire game so far, but put themselves in such a sharp angle that the shot basically looked like a pass. So even if the goaltender missed it, I don't know if it would have necessarily gone in there. But we do see Intense Messi all the way down the right-hand side. But it, sure enough, there we go. Van Wood's defense on point that time. Immediate robbery, able to get it to a player that has a little bit of space to work with. Kind of quarterback this a little bit and try and set up the play. Gonna go for some interesting setups here indeed. I mean, Van Wood has a tough job here. Two goals is not impossible in the second half, but if Man Messi oh gets my. another one, it could be very, very dangerous here. It's going to send right back up the field, but Messi quickly regains control. Yeah, he just gathers it up and has, again, lots of time to work with. Big pass, point blank with the goaltender wow. and beats them out. Let's make that 3-0 now here for Intense Messi. And this is getting nerve-wracking. Still not as big of a lead as Messi had in the first game. There's still another point to make up that difference. But with how quickly these games go oh. by, it's looking less and less likely for Van Wood. Got a nightmare scenario again here for the goaltender. Just scary times when you have to try and dive one-on-one -on -one like that. But scary opportunity here for Van Wood, but just gets robbed right inside the crease once again. Just these one-on-one -on -one plays here from Intense Messi. He's just getting so much value from it. All the way up the midfield. One more player for the Saints. Again, another run on in. It's going to slowly crawl through, but there <laughs> is a defender there for George Washington University. Van Wood is able to get that stopped right on the goal line. A good stop by Van Wood, but once again, Messi trying to set something up once again in this mosh pit in front of the goal, but it's not going to quite go their way. Van Wood going to try and get control of the ball and make an offense for themselves, because sure, you can have an amazing defense as you've had, but you need to start making some of these goals. And there was a shot opportunity once again, or the shot attempt rather, from Van Wood right outside the crease, immediately going into the shins of one of the Saints defenders, and just going to be sent right back the other way. Still lots of time here for Van Wood to try and get themselves back into this game. This 3-0 deficit is definitely daunting, but it is much better to look at compared to a 4 or a 5. As we're going to see Van Wood, a little bit of a breakout, has lots of time actually, looks for it. The good defense again, though. And Ted's Messi not committing on the player breaking in until the shot's opportunity. And I think that actually bounced off of Van Wood, which does mean that the Saints do get the goalie kick and get full control of it once again. Yeah, Messi is so good at forcing, even when it's about to go into bounds, making sure it's on Van Wood's book, you know, <laughs> making sure that Messi is always in control of the ball. And I mean, speaking of ball control, moving their way no up way. field to an open goal, gets a oh! shot, and it's in! Absolute majesty from intense to Messi. Absolutely fantastic. Just absolutely getting around the goaltender. Again, this is what I was talking about. If you do end up going as the goaltender, you go for the dive. If the uh, the offensive player is paying attention, sees you coming, they could just move right out of the way. But at the same time, if you don't make that dive, you're pretty well screwed anyway. Just, I mean, 
just give absolutely mad props to anybody who actually plays goaltender in, in soccer and football in the, sl so different. the slightest, but just so much so much pressure, so much weight on their shoulders. And when you get put into a position like that, there's not much you can really do. Not much indeed. It's going to be very difficult. Vanwood needs to start picking up the pace here. It's not quite over, but it's getting relatively close. We're getting to the that latter point half. Again, yeah. uh, and Vanwood needs to pick up the pace here on the offense. Yeah, and very well. Could be a quick night here for us if this game keeps on going the way that it is. But granted, again, still another like five minutes or so in real lifetime anyway. As we now have Intense Messi once again just taking their time along the, the top side. Right past the one, looks for the pass. Oh, a little bit of a tic-tac-toe play coming on through. Another breakout shot on target, but actually fantastic save coming out here from Bandwidth to keep this one within four. Four so far. Messi's here we go again. Change the head. Oh. It is change. That is a 5-0 and oh difference, a five-point difference. That is breaking the record of the last game, but not in terms of goals. This is just the biggest difference we've had so far. Will Messi get the six? That was a little perfect pivot into a forward smash right there, right in the top of the crease. Looks like he's getting ready to pass it. Oh. You know what? Wow. I mean, we don't see this too often when you red card yourself just with the way that the game is going. But to be honest, I mean, we could sense it, that the frustration could, was I, boiling. I, yeah, I can feel it. Like, if that was... I mean, in, uh, in uh, <laughs> <Messi>. Bedwood's <laughs> position there, going up against Messi, I would definitely be contemplating it. But unfortunately, yeah, this match is going to end up getting cut off short because that was a confirmed, um, just being confirmed from reduction now, that was in fact a rage quit. Wow. So that I think that means they're just completely out there. So that's going to be 4 and 0 oh and 1 for Intense to Messi right there. Oh yeah, there. fantastic so far. And that's going to be 3 and 2 for Vanwood. Yeah, I mean like Van Vanwood has to of course just uh take some time here between the, this week and next week just to kind of recuperate because it's not <laughs> like they're having a bad season. No, no. Like George Washington University and Vanwood like could still put in a fantastic run. And from what I understand here of the way the ECAC season is working, it sounds like majority of the players, if not all of them, do get to move on into the playoff bracket, but that's where it becomes single elimination. And then you obviously want a really, really good seed because that's going to if you, or if you're in a super, super high seed, you're going to have some, in theory, easy opponents to kind of get started off with, move up nice and quick. Mm -hmm. So, in theory, like, sure, may have lost today, but recuperate and, like, don't toss the season away no. for that one. Because with the record that you have right now, you can still do some damage in this season. Well, I'm sure this will be a good lesson to learn for the enemy team to try and temper that, tem <laughs> that temper. <laughs> so uh, Temper the temper. Temper the temper <laughs> and hopefully come back a little bit more uh, adjusted for that. But with how intense Messi was playing, with how aggressive and how big a score difference that was, I... I I can empathize with that. I can sympathize. I can see from their position why they would be so overwhelmed. I could definitely empathize because um, intense is the exact word that I would use to kind of describe <laughs> that entire series. Like, no matter what you did, with the exception of on one occasion, it felt like you ran into a brick wall. You would get all the way across the field. Your counterattack was right there, but you could never get that final blow, that final touch to just secure that goal and it was just extremely frustrating as a player i'm sure i know we would sense it and we can we can tell it's like oh he's they're so close so close just literally one button away or one pass too many and um i can see a controller having a uh, some hang time <laughs> a nice, at the nice end of that trip one. across the room as i would say <laughs> but speaking of that our little trip with ecac eafc 25 is going to be wrapping up for today so congratulations to intense and messy props to the amazing gameplay they had on oh, the showcase today <laughs> and props to jsos for being a great coach and keeping in contact with all of us yeah, absolutely and we're not of course Going to, or it's not just today that we get to uh, talk to Jay Sauce. Of course, with the way that this um, this week of broadcast kind of laid out, with Nays Varsity Premier having a break between the regular season finishing and playoffs, 
here on the Saints Gaming CA channel, you'll get to see some of these teams that we haven't necessarily been able to cover very much, if yet at all, so far in this season. And with that does come a lot of sports games. Tomorrow, in fact, we do get to see for the first time NBA 2K will be on stream. The exact matchup itself is still to be determined because the uh, Swiss rounds, of course, are generated kind of late. <laughs> but that's just the nature of Swiss, so fair enough. Wednesday, though, we're going to... As of right now, of course, this is all susceptible to change. But Wednesday, Academy Valorant, I know we were just talking about sports games, but um, Academy Valorant has definitely been a team that has been requesting the stream a lot. And considering how they play in every game, almost seems like it's always going into overtime, like absolute like close matches. I'm sure that'll be a fun one. And then if we have Madden alongside MLB to wrap up the week itself and of course you can expect some more on the weekend but still to be determined exactly with all that if you can't remember all that make sure to follow our <laughs> social medias they post every day right before the stream goes live so you can stay up to date with all the news events and games that you love the saints for with all that being said we're gonna thank the people in the back first it's person in the back i should say it's just amanda back there jay sauce is up a little bit too so thank you very much we wouldn't be able to run this show without you guys and with all that we also have to thank our sponsors alienware tim horton's subway the st Clair src and the st Clair college alumni association and thank you viewers for watching that's all we're gonna have for tonight and have a good rest see you later